Hello and welcome to one and all. In this class, we will move on to the next question. What are all the various health sector initiatives of Telangana state? So after the bifurcation of the state, the government of Telangana have initiated several health programs and several schemes. So let us check out some of the health sector initiatives undertaken by the state government of Telangana. Okay. The first one is Kanti Velugu. So Kanti Velugu, this is mainly to cater to the eye diseases. So the Telangana government had a vision to build an avoidable blindness free Telangana by, by providing simple pair of glasses and cataract surgery. See this is mainly, so most of the people, they might not undertake uh, that eye testing quite frequently. Okay. So if the uh, if it is frequently undertaken, if the eye checkup is frequently done by the people, then it is possible to avoid so many uh, diseases which is leading to blindness. So in order to uh, create an, a blindness-free state of Telangana, the government of Telangana has undertaken a program called as the Kanti Vedugu. So the method or the objectives through which this program is being initiated or implemented in the state of Telangana is, first thing is, to conduct eye screening and vision tests for all citizens of the state. So periodically the testing, eye testing will be conducted to all the citizens and then if there, if it is a, there is a necessity, then provide spectacles at free of cost to the needy people and also if it is necessary, provide medicines for common any common eye ailments and educate people on prevention of serious disabling eye diseases because most of the people they don't go frequently for eye checkup so if they educate if the government educates the people people will go for that uh, checkup periodically and then the possible uh, severe eye damages can be curb can be prevented so in order to do that the government has started this program which is known as the kanti veluku okay the next program which is initiated by the government of Telangana is something called as Basti Davakana. So this Basti Davakana is uh, mainly to uh, provide healthcare services to the urban slums that is the poor, poorer sections of the people residing in urban areas, urban slums. So in order to provide some healthcare services, this Basti Davakana has been established by the government of Telangana. So presently, one Davakana is catering to the healthcare needs of nearly 5,000 to 10,000 urban poor people. So what are all the services rendered by this Basti Davakana? So these centers near, provide nearly 53 different kinds of free health services. Like some of them things are outpatient patient consultation, providing the medicines, basic lab diagnosis and antenatal and postnatal care for the mother before the delivery and child, I mean also for the child after the delivery. Screening for non-communicable diseases and apart from that, if there is a necessity for any specialist treatment is required, that is also provided through telemedicine. So all these are undertaken by the uh, by establishing the Basti Davakanas. Okay, then the next program undertaken by the government of Telangana is the government has established something called as the health and wellness centers. So these centers they are supposed to deliver comprehensive health care CPHs. Comprehensive health care means uh, includes including so many kinds of a cure or, or uh, prescription for so many kinds of diseases. So everything is included here. It is literally like bringing the healthcare services to the homes of the people. So what are all the things it is covered under that health and wellness centers is both maternal and child healthcare services and healthcare for non-communicable diseases and also they also provide free essential drugs and diagnostic services. So as far as now near, nearly 60 636 primary healthcare centers, 86 sub centers, 104 Basti Davakanas, and 227 urban primary health centers (UPHC). They all have been converted as uh, health and wellness centers in the state of Telangana. So, for your information, the first position of contact is sub centers. Sub centers is the contact point between the community and the primary health centers. See, normally what we do, we uh, I mean, we don't near. Uh, uh, really go to the hospitals for immediately isn't it we don't immediately go to hospitals for any illness we try to cure ourselves by taking some kind of medicines but 
most of the people in the rural area are uneducated people they don't have an idea of what what sort of medicines to be taken so this sub center will guy provide the guideline to the commu community people so sub center is the contact point between the community and the primary health center so if the uh, taking home medicines is not the person is not getting cured then he will be directed to the primary health centers so the primary health center it is like your a family doctor so all kinds of treatment the basic uh, common uh, diseases common sickness common cold diarrhea like that basic all kind of diseases will be treated in the primary health care center okay so if the uh, situation is more intense which cannot be cured under the primary health care center and then a person has to be hospitalized then and all it will go to the secondary health care so where you have the cardiology treatment kidney all those things and then if still the health care is i mean is more intensified then the person has to be taken to the extra care hospitals then that is the next level that is the tertiary level where you have the cancer treatment uh, kidney transplant plastic surgery all those things will be undertaking the tertiary health care and then fourth one we have something as the quaternary health care that is like a rare kind of surgeries are being performed or if any testing has to be done all those things are being performed in the tertiary health care so this is the health care levels in the uh, country so sub centers are the first point which is making the contact between the community and the primary health care centers then later uh, prime then comes the primary health care then the secondary health care and the tertiary health care and finally the quaternary health care so this is the level of uh, health care or the challenges faced by the people okay now anyway so all these have been uh, converted as health and wellness centers in the state of telangana okay then the next uh, program initiated by the government is establishing uh, some hospitals known as the telangana vaidya vidana parishad that is tvvp hospitals see the government after the bifurcation established an organization by passing an act in the legislature that is known as tvvp on 2nd of june 2014 so the main purpose of this organization is uh, to train the staff in the in the how to manage the secondary level hospitals in the in the state so just now i explain what is the meaning of secondary level which is severe the health challenges are more severe so it has to be managed properly so based on this organization this the, this um, new hospital buildings were constructed which is they, which are known as the tvvp hospitals and they are constructed along with uh, minor and major equipments were provided and the staff members of the hospitals were given proper training to manage the hospitals and along with that how they have to provide proper patient care because the challenges are serious here so the patients have to be cared properly so uh, so all those training will be provided to the uh, the staff members of these hospitals so all the tvv vp hospitals they cater to uh, these are all the services maternity and child health care services are provided they provide the general medicines general surgery is undertaken in these hospitals and apart from from that the secondary level health care uh, services that is ophthalmology pediatrics ent orthopedics dermatology all these things are undertaken in the tvvp hospital that is the telangana vaidya vidana parishad hospitals okay then the next program undertaken is the ayush so this is the alternative medicine so the ayush covers ayurvedic medicines yoga naturopathy unani and homeopathy see sometimes uh, for some of the people the allopathic medicines will not work so they might prefer to uh, take the uh, alternative medicine that is the ayush so the government of telangana is encouraging this kind of medical system also along with by joining the national ayush mission the government of telangana is encouraging even the ayush type of medicines also so currently 860 dispensaries and institutions are functioning in the state okay then the next one is it's a unique program uh, started by the previous government by mr ys rajshekhar reddy arogya shri health care trust so this uh, this is a unique program it's a government sponsored health insurance scheme assisting the below poverty line families with cashless medical services so the below poverty line families they have been identified and they have been given the arogya shri card 
so with this card they can get the medical treatment cashless and they will get that uh, insurance scheme also so even the top hospitals like ashoda apollo they are also advised they are also supposed to provide the cashless medical services to all those people the below poverty line people who are having that arogeshri card so this is one of the unique programs started by the government of ap by mr ys rashekar sir reddy and after that the current government is also continuing with this scheme okay then uh, the next one is the something called as the kcr kit so under this scheme the pregnant women that is who are really getting the treatment from the public health hos uh, hospital that is the government hospitals so from for those women uh, i mean the uh, understood it is the below poverty level women so all those below poverty le level women if they are getting the treatment if they are having the deliveries in the government hospitals they will be provided financial assistance to the extent of if it is a male child 12000 rupees which is given 12000 for male child and in order to encourage the female child rupees 13000 1000 rupees extra for a female child and this will be distributed in three phases and along with the financial assistance one kit will also be provided to the beneficiary so what is the kit what all the necessary items required for both the mother as well as the uh, child so which contains uh, some of the items like this baby oil soaps mosquito nets dresses toys for the child diapers napkins powders shampoos towels baby bed and of course sarees handbag so like that one kit is also provided along with the cash assistance so this is the kcr kit and uh, the the pregnant women up to maximum of two deliveries they can avail these services and this is uh, indirectly it is to encourage the people one is to get, have the deliveries at the government hospitals because people normally prefer to go to the private hospitals uh, which are which they charge exorbitantly many many sections of the people they will not be able to afford it okay so in order to encourage the people to come to the government hospitals to have their deliveries and also uh, to, to, for the encouragement of female child okay and also as i mentioned Uh, up to two deliveries they can have the maximum of two deliveries they can avail these services okay now these are all the uh, various programs some of the programs initiated by the government of telangana in the health sector okay so this is a five marks question actually so the main answer is see you i mean it is not uh, you are just mugging up the answer you should know what you are mugging up also isn't it and you should know what are all the programs that have been implemented in the state of telangana okay so in order to uh, give that i mentioned detail little bit detail all these programs now this is the main answer okay for five marks this is sufficient okay the answer is describe the health sector initiatives of telangana state after the formation of the state telangana government initiated several health related programs some of them are first one kanti velugu this program was launched with a vision to build avoidable blindness free telangana through simple pair of glasses and cataract surgery b basti davakana it is an initiative to offer quality health services to urban poor one basti davakana caters to 5000 to 10000 population c health and wellness centers these centers will provide comprehensive primary health care cphc covering both maternal and child health care services and non communicable diseases these centers also provide free essential drugs and diagnostic services d telangana vaidya vidana parishad tvvp hospitals these hospitals cater to the maternity and child health care services besides general medicine general surgery ophthalmology pediatrics orthopedics dermatology ent etc e ayush that is ayurveda yoga naturopathy unani and homeopathy the telangana government along with the national ayush mission nam nam is encouraging ayush system of medicine presently 860 dispensaries and institutions are functioning under the ayush department f arogyashree healthcare trust 
the objective of this unique scheme is to provide assistance to below poverty line families the scheme provides end to end cashless medical services for identified diseases and the last one g kcr kit this scheme provides compensation for wage loss to pregnant women who have deliveries at government hospitals in the form of financial assistance that is 12000 rupees for male child and rupees 13000 for female child along with a kit containing necessary items for the baby and mother okay so i have explained little bit detailly what are all these programs also and i have given you the answer also okay so if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my youtube channel and your suggestions and doubts are most welcome please mention them in the comment box okay until my next class take care bye bye